Wolf Parkinson White, or WPW, is classically caused by the presence of a congenital accessory pathway, which can lead to arrhythmias. It was first described in the 1930s by Lewis Wolf, John Parkinson, and Paul Dudley White, hence the name WPW. This is an important EKG to recognize because if left unchecked, this abnormality can lead to tachyarrhythmias and sometimes sudden cardiac death. But lucky for us, it is often present with some classic findings seen on an EKG. First, let's talk about why this arrhythmia happens. The classic example is a patient with an accessory pathway referred to as the bundle of Kent. Instead of normal cardiac depolarization occurring from SA to AV node and then down to the ventricles, in patients with accessory pathways, depolarization can occur from atria directly to ventricles, therefore bypassing the AV node. Remember that normally the AV node causes a short delay in the conduction of electrical activity from the atria to ventricles. But with an accessory pathway, there is no delay. Electrical activity just passes straight through, and so this manifests on an EKG as a shortened PR interval because the time that electricity takes to get from atria to ventricle is shorter. This abnormal passage can become a problem when there is interference with electrical conduction through the AV node. For example, when electrical activity from the accessory pathway and the AV node come into contact at very specific times, this can cause chaos in the cardiac conduction system, leading to what we call atrioventricular reentry tachycardias, or AVRT for short. But the mechanism of how this happens is complicated, and may be left for another video. But now back to the findings of WPW on an EKG. In addition to a shortened PR interval, you may see an earlier upslurring of the QRS complex seen here. When compared to an EKG in normal sinus rhythm, notice that the EKG in someone with WPW is very difficult to make out a clear PR interval. This is because it is obscured by early depolarization caused by the accessory pathway. This is referred to as a delta wave. Notice how this precedes the actual QRS complex. The delta wave represents earlier electrical activity through the accessory pathway, and the QRS complex represents electrical conduction that still passes normally through the AV node and this fusion between the delta wave and the QRS complex lends to another potential finding on an EKG, which is the prolongation of the QRS complex. So in summary, the findings you may see on an EKG in someone with WPW include a shortened PR interval, a delta wave, which is the slurring of the initial portion of the QRS complex representing electrical conduction through an accessory pathway, and QRS prolongation as a result of the fusion of the delta wave and the normally occurring QRS complex.